All right. Now we have the testimony of everyone in the hotel. Let's see if we can get on with this case. Oh, that's. I don't even want to bother talking to the judges. All right. Go ahead and do a quick save here, just to be on the safe side. Are you sure you don't have anything else to say, Sunray? No. I'll rot in here if I have to. Yeah, yeah. All right. Talk to the warden. You mean as you know, impartial as as my arbiter was? Yep, that uh, that law it sure governs my motives. Yeah, I want to begin Sunri's trial now. Yep. My investigations are complete. There was nothing in the Sith Embassy, unfortunately. Are you deaf, Flipperhead? Now I'll be nice. Juan's a nice guy. He's he's not. He's not like actually Han Solo. Han Solo would probably be an asshole in that case. There's a shell car. All these guys are gonna introduce themselves again. Hello. Opening statements. I will find Sunri innocent. Why? I am completely frozen. <laughs> this is my poker face. <laughs> it's my poker face as I lie to the judges. Oh, of course, an impartial observer from the Sith Empire. I guess as impartial as someone from the Jedi Order. It is an honor to see justice served. And I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. You smack him down, dude. Good for you. Alright, testimony from Ignis. I'm kind of afraid to like. Okay. Sunry left before I heard the blaster shot. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like afraid to skip the dialogue in, fa in case I might accidentally skip like after the next, like once the next dialogue shows up. Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. Oh, okay. So I can like, I can and see which of the judges are, uh, swayed. First witness is Firith. You are Firith Me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Do not undermine the witness. <laughs> of course, Your Honor. Feareth me. What did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot 
and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. Hey, uh, Ignis said before. So what did Fear with me tell us? That Elasa was a, a, a Sith? Elasa is a dark Jedi, isn't she? Yes, from what I could tell. She carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. <laughs> yes, I do have an initial question. Did you actually see the murder happen? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no. But I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Um... I don't think, uh, I don't think this question goes along with the Dark Jedi question. Like, in my, in my logic, I would say, you know, how could he have harmed her if he was crippled and she was a Dark Jedi, but I don't think it counts towards that. Um... Yeah, I'll ask this. Was the metal left of the crime scene not a little too obvious? I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. And, yeah, I'm gonna leave this question alone. I have no additional questions. Yeah, sure, I'll pull the judges, see what they think. Oh, okay, so that's one judge out of five. Ooh, that's possible too. Okay, one, one undecided. So that's actually three out of five judges. Okay, so we have three out of five says he probably didn't do it, one undecided, and one who is against him. Okay. So far, it's looking to be in our favor. Rodian Glupor. Glupor the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? This is clear, then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. <laughs> Here's my poker face again. Did you see Sunri kill Alasa? Fun fact, uh, Glupor is actually the only alien in this game that has custom dialogue for him. Whereas every other alien has like the same loop of dialogue repeated over and over for them. But Glupor actually like says his name like in his dialogue. It's it's kind of weird.
I mean, it's cool. You know, I wish they would have done something like that for all the aliens, but I guess, like, once they did glue pores, they were like, ah, oh, crap. This actually takes some, uh, some effort. And then they just, like, did the looping thing. Isn't the metal at the crime scene too obvious a clue? Oh, indeed. Yes, I do wish to ask him something else. Did you plant the metal on a Lhasa? Don't do it, Glupor. <laughs> See, he actually said Glupor, Glupor there. That was cool. Slander! I object! Oh man. I think I can rest my case. Oh yes, I would like to pull the judges. Now that we have even more evidence that... You know, Sunri's, Sunri's cool. Even though he's not. Okay, you don't think so. You don't think so. You don't think so. So all of the judges are convinced now. Okay. Oh, we don't need any more evidence, but you know, sure. Let's let's pound this case into the dirt. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. Really? Are you absolutely certain of this? I, I guess I should have asked Laura about the case. I, I didn't think she would actually... There's my poker face again. I didn't actually think she would uh, be brought into this. Was it true your husband was having an affair with Alasa? Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. Oh, I don't, I don't think that was in my favor. Uh-oh. Um. Shoot. I don't think Laura will help me in this case. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any additional questions after that. Yeah, sure, I'll... I'll I think my uh, standing with the judges might have taken a hit from that. Okay, that's no, no. Okay, you're unconvinced again. No. Ah, shoot, now we're, now we're back. I wish to call forth Sunri himself, Your Honor. Now we're back to where we were before. So that, that canceled out Glupor's freaking goddamn it, Alora. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them! Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alasa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alasa and my wife, yes. 
but I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Uh-oh. I think, um... I don't think this, this case is going so well now. It's a good thing I uh, got as many witnesses as I could. Um, shoot. Alasa was a Sith spy, wasn't she? Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? Ah, shoot. So, so is this in my favor or against? Um. Okay, you were going there to end the affair. Would the Sith object? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. Ooh. Okay, cool. Alright, um, should I ask this question? I could have lost have gotten a hold of your medal. It might, it might help my case, you know, like she took it for the sole purpose of planning it later for using it against him. Maybe. Hmm, I'll, t I'll take the risk. I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, Your Honors? Hmm. Okay, cool. And, you know, we do have the testimony from Gulpur. I have no additional questions. Yeah, I'll pull the judges one more time. Okay, so that's no, no, undecided, no. Okay, so we're exactly where we were before. Okay. But that's three out of five judges, so that should be in our favor. Man, Juan has one hell of a poker face. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that what material any evidence? observation of the facts will the lead evidence the you judges, planted? Your Honors, to this very conclusion. I like closing statements. Let's see. Do I actually get multiple closing statements, or could I only pick one? Elasa was a spy in the Sith or Framing Sunry. No, they don't. The facts do not speak clear. Ha! 
I mean, what, what facts are you talking about? Okay, so I do get multiple points. Um, no one actually witnessed the murder. Truth. Yes, it is truth. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. <laughs> Another point I would like to make. I don't think this one would help me. Something was ending the affair. Hmm. Yeah, why would the Sith kill her for that? No. No, n none of these are gonna help me. Alright, so my arguments are complete. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Ooh. This court hereby finds Sunray innocent in of the murder. Cool. Your honors! No! <laughs> Awesome. That is awesome. Oh, Sunry. I'm so glad. Elora, thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Yes, yeah, no problem, dude. I mean, it kind of sucks that I had to, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I crashed. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had to redo the whole trial over again. I just, like, skipped over it, and... I picked all the same choices, though. Now, he got off innocent. And, uh, yeah. Experience points and items lost. Okay. What did we get for our journal? Um... Completed quests. Sunry murder trial. Okay, so they both thanked me for, you know, getting him off scot-free. And yeah, we uh, proved a guilty man innocent. Go us. But at least the Republic are going to stay on world. And the Sith are probably going to get kicked off. <laughs> Yeah, I sure was a hell of an arbiter, wasn't I? I mean, Alora came in and tried to screw things over, but... Even so. Alright. So I think, uh... Yeah, now the, uh, the Sunward case is over. Um, I'm actually out of time. So yeah, um, that was interesting. We defended ourselves in a trial, and we defended Sunry in a trial. Lots of lots of legal stuff this this time around. But yeah, ending it off. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Super Vader Man, Juan Solo, uh, Bastila, Jolie, and our friends, the judges in there, who we uh, pulled the, the wool over their eyes, so to speak. And next time, I believe, I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we'll see what other attractions there are on Manon. And yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. This, I already did. Just, just bye. May the force be with you.